What's up YouTube community, Bernd here, welcome back to another video lesson. In today's video I want to show you a really cool lick that demonstrates a system to come up with more creative shred licks. So if you feel like you're playing the same stuff all the time, this video is for you. So today we are finally talking about shredding again. I prepared a special lick in A minor for today. We are working with a very challenging but also very rewarding rhythm system. One of my personal main practice goals over the last couple of weeks when it comes to fast alternate picking and shredding in general was breaking out of these same lines that I tend to play very often. So with this lick we are grouping an odd number of notes and get a pretty exciting result. Here it is performed for you in two different tempos. <laughs> So that can sound quite confusing and challenging when you listen to it for the first time, especially when you focus on the click in the background, but as always there's a system to this madness. You can download the PDF tabs, Gitter profiles and also some special practice backing tracks that I programmed for you on patreon.com slash Bernd. In case you didn't already know, I upload these files for every single YouTube lesson that I publish on here and I'm also in direct email contact with all my patrons. Over there I'm helping out with creating custom practice plans and also give feedback to audio or video recordings. So with today's lick we're actually building on the foundation of the note grouping system we established last week with the pentatonic lick. For that one we were playing groups of five in the classic pentatonic scale box, in the A minor pentatonic scale box right here. So we were playing one, two, three, four, five, one, two, And as we discussed in that lesson, that sounds very interesting because we naturally often play groups of two, three or four. So when I'm thinking groups of two, for example, one, two, 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 one, two. groups of four, one, two, three, 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 four, or groups of three, one, two, 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 three, and so on. Those are all very common examples. But as soon as I'm playing something odd, like a group of five, that immediately sounds more creative and progressive, even though I'm still playing in the exact same very common A minor pentatonic scale box. But for today we take that concept a step further and we're playing a group of seven in a three note per string scale, the classic A minor scale. So I'm playing in this position right here. This is the fifth fret of the low E string. I have my root note A and I'm using my middle and ring finger to play B and C since I have to stretch with this shape later on and I can keep the same fingering when I do that. So I'm playing A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, all the way up to D on the 10th fret of the high E string right here. So once again with three note per string phrases I would naturally group them in triplets. That is something I really like to do and it comes relatively easy by now. But of course if you limit yourself to playing only like that it will get repetitive over time. That's the reason why I wanted to try out a group of seven for this lick. So I'm still playing regular 16th notes right here but each pattern consists out of seven notes. And that sounds pretty crazy because I'm just missing one note that would turn this into a four or eight note phrase. So for the lick I was choosing this phrase, seven notes. And I was just moving that through every single position on every single string. So essentially I was playing and so on. One thing that you might have already noticed is my odd distribution of down and up strokes with this lick. So I'm not playing alternate picking, switching constantly between downstroke and upstroke. also be possible to play it that way, but since the phrase is ending with a downstroke, I want to keep the motion going by choosing the economy picking approach. So I'm playing two downstrokes in a row, essentially staying in that sweep picking mindset, 
with my right hand so the two downstrokes are not separated like that it's one motion going down that is pretty much the most important factor here and it allows me to play this lick fluidly at higher tempos If you want to learn more about economy picking and don't really know where to start, make sure to check out the video I recorded on this topic. The YouTube algorithm wasn't too kind with that video and I think a lot of people missed it. So once again, timing is the most important and most challenging factor with this lick. And I do my best to focus on the first note of every group of seven, that is where the accents are placed. So to get in time and to get a feeling for this lick when you start out, make sure to accent those notes. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, and so on. So as a homework exercise or takeaway from this lesson, I don't just want you to practice that particular lick, I want you to play around with different odd note groupings in your favorite scales and see what you can come up with. So make sure to include that in your practice routine and send me some audio or video footage in case you run into any problems over at the Shred Guitar community on Patreon. That's it for this lesson, I hope this one inspired you to come up with some more creative Shred licks in the future. In the end make sure to subscribe to join this YouTube community today and to never miss another free guitar lesson again, leave a like in case you enjoyed that one or in case you learn something new and a comment in case I can answer any questions for you. I hope you have a lot of fun working on this and I will see you in the next video lesson. All the best until then.